Welcome back to Monster Shorts, where we delve into the realms of mysterious phenomena that captivate the human imagination. Today, we unravel the enigma of streetlight interference, SLI, a phenomenon that seems to blur the lines between the ordinary and the paranormal. Picture this. You're walking down the street, and suddenly, streetlights flicker or go out as you pass beneath them. Some individuals, known as sliders, claim this happens to them regularly, sparking curiosity about whether there's something extraordinary at play. Sliders not only influence streetlights, but also report peculiar effects on electronic devices. From appliances acting autonomously to watches stopping and credit cards being damaged, the SLI experience extends beyond mere streetlight interactions. As with many phenomena of this nature, evidence for SLI is largely anecdotal. Sliders share intriguing stories of appliances going haywire and electronic devices exhibiting erratic behavior. While these occurrences might be dismissed as chance, sliders argue that the frequency of these events suggests a deeper connection between their presence and electronic disturbances. Attempts to pinpoint the cause of SLI are hindered by the elusive nature of psychic phenomena. SLI seems to occur spontaneously, making it challenging to reproduce in a controlled laboratory setting. A speculative avenue of exploration ties the phenomenon to the electronic impulses of the brain. Could our thoughts and movements generate impulses that extend beyond our bodies, akin to a form of remote control? Referencing research from the now-closed Princeton Engineering Anomalies Research Lab, PEER, which explored the influence of the subconscious on electronic devices, we question whether SLI could be a manifestation of the mind's ability to affect the world around us. While SLI is not a conscious act, some sliders report that these occurrences coincide with extreme emotional states. Stress or anger is often cited as a trigger, prompting us to ponder the connection between heightened emotions and the manifestation of psychic phenomena. Slider testimonies, such as that of British barmaid Debbie Wolfe, provide first-hand accounts of the phenomenon occurring during moments of intense emotional turmoil. Skepticism persists, with some suggesting that SLI experiences may be attributed to humans perceiving patterns in random noise. David Barlow, a graduate student of physics and astrophysics, raises the question of whether the phenomenon is a result of individuals attributing significance to seemingly coincidental events. Can SLI be explained as a psychological response to unexpected occurrences, or is there a genuine, unexplained force at play? Dr. Richard Wiseman, a researcher at the University of Hertfordshire, conducted a project in 2000 to test extrasensory perception (ESP) using a kiosk-like machine called the Mind Machine. Although not specifically focused on SLI, this project aimed to collect data on psychic abilities within the general public. Additionally, paranormal investigator Hillary Evans established the Street Lamp Interference Data Exchange, a platform for sliders to share their experiences and contribute to the collective understanding of this mysterious phenomenon. As we conclude our exploration into Street Lamp Interference, the boundary between the ordinary and the unexplained remains blurred. Whether SLI is a genuine psychic phenomenon or a product of human perception, the stories of sliders continue to fascinate and challenge our understanding of the mysteries that surround us. So what do you think? Is it real or just a coincidence? Have you had any strange occurrences with streetlights or electronics? Could you be a slider? Let me know in the comments section. Until then, keep your eyes open for the unexpected. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know that line gets old, but we're a small channel and it really helps it grow. And as always, stay curious. Nation. They call me a fool.